What's up, guys? So, uh, I'm doing a uh, fuel pump on a 2006 Nissan Altima. Um, this one's actually pretty simple. Uh, you take off the seat first, you'll start with uh, these little tabs right here. Sorry, car's so disgusting. And you'll pull this out. You do the same on the other side, right there. Take it out. And then you come to this tab. This plate sits on top here. You get a screwdriver, and you can see it right there. Just put a screwdriver in, twist it. Let's see if I can show you. And then lock and unlock the little the four tabs in the corner here. You'll take that off. You'll then squeeze this here so you can release the line. And the sensor, you gotta make sure you take that off before you go yanking things off. You'll take it off right here. Push down on this little tab right there. And pull out. And then it's got, you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. You'll take them off with this uh, uh, Phillips. You can also use, I mean, you don't have to use this, but I used it because it was convenient for the spacing. But it's an eight millimeter as well. Um, once you get those out, this thing's going to spring up. You do want to make sure also uh, you can uh, have the car started and uh, before you do any of this and you can pull the fuel pump relay and wait till the car dies and then try to start it uh, a couple times just to make sure the pressure's out of there i kind of forgot and uh, that's kind of why you see fuel everywhere that little little mess but um uh yeah after that you take the you can then do those steps, get this all out. Um, this will pull right out. Like so. And I'm not changing this one. I'm just uh, making a video to kind of help a couple people out. It's a little hard to do one-handed. Yeah, just wiggle it loose. Not loose, but... Then you turn it sideways to get the little lever out the uh and then we can say this is the new pump maneuver it around I always want to watch this hose don't want to break that or and once you get it situated remember that this has to hook up onto here so you want it to be in that position and this one with that you can then get your uh, little locking ring You're then gonna push it down and you line up all the bolt holes there, like so, all the way around. We're then gonna put those bolts back into those spots, tighten them up. You don't want to go too crazy, but you do want it to be nice and snug. Connect the lines, the sensor. You pop the seat back, and uh, before you actually start it, make sure you put that relay back, and uh, you just turn the key to the on position. Do that a couple times to get it nice and primed. Should start it up, should fire right up, and hey, you should be golden. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, a like, make sure you subscribe, and God bless you guys. Have a great night.